Hello friends. Today we will discuss about the dry spinning system. In last video, we have discussed about the melt spinning system. What are the various components of melt spinning systems, and what are the function of melt spinning system? Today we will discuss related to the dry spinning. For that, we need to know dry spinning systems. It comes under the solution spinning system. As solution spinning system is basically used when the polymer cannot under can be cannot be used by cannot be spun by melt spinning systems, and this has been used before the melt spinning systems. If we know earlier, the solution spinning system has been invented, and it has been carried out when the polymer cannot be melt spun. So in this case. First, we need to dissolve that polymer into the certain suitable solvent. So there are two different types of solution spinning systems are there. One is your dry spinning system, another is your wet spinning system. In dry spinning system, the solvent is generally evaporated, and in wet spinning systems, the solvent need to be removed by the coagulation systems. So unlike dry spinning systems. Where the with the help of hot air, that solvent which has been used for dissolution of your polymer that need to be removed by evaporation technique. While in wet spinning systems, that need to be removed by certain chemical. So in dry spinning systems, so today we will discuss the fiber form on your polymer dry spinning system to be dissolved into certain volatile solvent, and it need to be introduced into the heated drying chamber where the solvent has been evaporated. And the solidification of your fiber filament or fiber has been taken place by means of hot air. So this process has been basically used for the acetate or some polyacrylonitrile fibers. So we will see here what are the different component, different fibers has been produced with the help of dry spinning systems, and what are the their different solvent has been used depending upon your fiber which need to be produced. The fiber for the production of, if you see here, for the production of polyacrylonitrile, basically that is we need to require the dimethyl formaldehyde. Similarly, for the production of triacetate, we need to have the methylene chloride. For the spandex DMF, for mod acrylic, we need to have acetone as your solvent. So this is a generalized process of your dry spinning systems. Initially, that filter out polymer solutions. That we normally call as the dope solution, where the polymer with the help of solvent has been dissolved, and that need to be passed or pumped through certain metering. That is metering pump has been used, similar to your spinning systems. That mill spinning system that is metering pump has been regulating your flow rate, and then it need to be passed through the spin pack assembly. That is composed of filter and spin rate, and then it is coming out. So, unlike your mesh spinning systems, where the solidification of your polymer has been taken place with the cooled air, in case of dry spinning system, it has been done by your hot air, and with the help of this hot air sublimation, the evaporation of your solvent has been taken place, and after that, the lubrication has been taken place. So, these are the scene like this is your feeding time, this is your metering extruder. The solidification has been done by means of hot air, then evaporation and the lubrication has been taken place, and then it is carried for the winding operations. So these all the things, if you see here, basically we will get to know the different components of your dry spinning systems and what is the basic difference between the wet spinning system and dry spinning system is there. So here also we can generally get to know. How the solvent recovery or how the solvent has been removed? This is your filter out polymer solution that is pumped through your spin pack assembly, which is composed of filter unit and spin rate. Then it is carried through this, and the air that is, or we can be, we can use the uh, nitrogen gas or inert gas, and hot air we need to be pass, and during that the solvent which has been used for the dissolution of your polymer has been. Recovered or can be evaporated by means of hot air. Then it is taken through this onto the gauchets and then it is winding onto your bobbin with the help of ring traveler systems. 
This is similar here I assume that is the spinning pump and the extruder that is evaporation of your solvent has been taken place and that has been finally winding onto your wind up roller. The same if you see this is the line which I have already discussed. So here we can basically discussing about what are the basic components of your dry spinning systems. One is your pump here is there, then there is a candle filter is there, the spin dead, then we have the hot air which need to be passed and the hot air outlet and then finally it is then, then the spin finish application and it is winding. So we'll discuss why what are you doing. For the first is the dope solutions. The dope solutions we need to feed. So dope solution is basically the solution where the polymer has been dissolved with the help of certain suitable solvent and then it will be filtered out and then it will pass through the metering pump. So already we know that the, what is the function of your metering pump to regulate your flow rate. Then we have the candle filter. It does the same function as that can be used in the filter filter which has used in the mesh winning systems. Then we have the spin rate. So in this case, the spin rate is 5 mm plate which has the 5 mm thick and made up of nickel or stainless steel and the orifice or diameter is 0 0.02 to 0 0.03 mm and which have the different types of spin rate like that could be a bowl, that could be hat type, that could be ring type. So in spin cell, it's generally around 10 meter high and 25 to 45 centimeter in diameter. If you see the spinning cell, it is generally jacketed into the heating fluid and it has sizes in the range of 10 meter long and 25 to 45 centimeter diameter. So drying gas has been entered to the hot air inlet in the direction of filament for the solid vibration of your or we can say that that has been used for the solid vibration of your filament. At the same time, it is doing the other function like evaporation of your solvent has been done. So it is tucked out from your out from the gas outlet with the help of vacuum and the gas flow rate is stated to be around 1 to 2 meter per second. So drying chamber must be should be leak proof and the density of your solvent in the chamber must be not be allowed at any time to go above the exclusive limit because there we need to apply the hot air. So that need to be taken care in the in these systems. The next system is your winding assembly like before that you can apply the spin finish that we already discussed in the bench spinning system also. The same type of spin finish we can be applied onto the filament which is coming out of your dry spinning systems before it is going to the winding element. So basically the functions we have already discussed the three functions need to be there that is your lubrication property there is a cohesion properties and anti-static properties and the finally the winding speed which can be your 200 to 1500 meter per second uh, meter per minute in case of your dry spinning systems. So in this lecture we have discussed about the dry spinning systems and at the same time we will discuss what are the advantages and disadvantages and what is the properties of your solvent need to be there in case of your dry spinning systems. So first we will discuss about the advantage dry spinning system. It is basically suitable for your producing very fine denier fibers. So at the same time there is no need of your washing of your fibers which can be needed in case of your dry uh, wet spinning systems. Similarly, if you see the disadvantage of this system is that investment cost is high, the toxic and risk explosion that is we are uh, using this hot air there should be toxicity and risk of explosion there could be there. Heat input is very high required and it cannot be basically used for your stable fiber production. And next is here what are the different properties the solvent should have. The solvent should not be volatile. It should be organic one. It should have the low boiling point. It should be comparatively cheap. It should be thermally stable and it should not be toxic. So these are the necessity of the components which has been solvent. We need to be required in case of dry spinning systems.
so i hope all the students have understood all the toys related to the die spinning systems what are the how the spinning like line is there what are the basic components of there and how it is different from your mesh spinning systems so thank you so much for your attention and we'll discuss in my next video we'll discuss about the well spinning system so so still there to the stop here